This video is going to show you the new easier method on how to set up Shadow the Hedgehog 2 player mod 2.0. In the description of the latest video release, click download, scroll down to the assets pane, and choose the latest release. The SHC 2019 zip is the new setup version. Other than that, there have been no changes. Once that finishes downloading, extract it. And I already have my one-to-one -one USA GameCube Shadow the Hedgehog ISO right here. I'm going to cut it and move it into the ISO patch folder and run apply patch. Once it completes, you can press any key to continue. And it'll generate a new 2P Shadow the Hedgehog 2019 09.ISO. The original ISO is in the old folder, but this is the one we're going to use in Dolphin. So now we need Dolphin. DolphinMU.org, choose Download Dolphin, and if you have never done a Development Edition Dolphin before, you will need to install this. Go ahead and run it, and say I agree and install. I've already installed it, so it'll fail for me. Then you download the latest Dolphin, whatever's up top here. All right. Go ahead and extract Dolphin. And before you actually open the program, make a new file, text, and call it portable. So portable.txt. What this will do is when you open Dolphin, which you're gonna do now, it makes a new user folder here instead of in your documents. You can choose to allow analytics or not, I'm choosing no. And once you do this, go ahead and close Dolphin. In the user folder that just got created, open it, go to game settings, and then back at the two-player Shadow the Hedgehog zip, take this goop 8 pini and move that over. Go back to the Dolphin main folder and open up dolphin.exe. Now we just need to target our ISO, which is in downloads, 2P Shadow the Hedgehog ISO patch, and I just left it in here, so I'm choosing that folder. And if it worked, you'll see this banner and the maker here. You can verify that the i you moved works by right-clicking the game, going to properties, and you should see these settings checked, and gecko codes all listed down here. The only ones you might want to change are no bloom and if you want to do horizontal instead of vertical. The rest I'd recommend leaving as is. There is a work in progress airbook fix code, but I don't recommend it. It causes more issues than it fixes. You need to go to config and enable cheats. For performance and general how the game looks, you want to go to graphics, change your backend to Direct3D 11 or Vulkan, I would highly recommend Direct 3D 11 though. Change your aspect ratio to either 16 by 9 or stretch to window. My gecko codes have optimized for 16 by 9. Go to under enhancements and choose the native resolution you want. I'm choosing 3x because I have a 1080p screen. And here you can do what you want. I'm just leaving it as defaults. And under hacks, you do want everything checked here. There'll be a big performance difference in this game. That's all you need to do under the graphics tab. Go to controllers. Set up your controllers as you will. Um, and I'm not gonna go through the rest, but you get the idea. Don't need to change anything else here. Now we're gonna talk about how on performance optimization for the CPU clock override and 100% save. So in Dolphin, go to user, GC, USA, and if you don't have a card A folder like me, make a new one, call it card space A, just like that. Open it and drag over the GCI in the zip. Then go ahead and launch Dolphin and run the game. Uh, you can press X or spin dash to jump straight to select screen if the cheats are on and go to Glyphic Canyon. As you can see, the 100% save was working. So now one player stays here and one player goes to the first area with enemies. You also want your FPS counter on, which you can enable under graphics, show FPS. Once you're about up to here, you can see the FPS has dropped significantly. Open up Config, Advanced, and check Enable Emulated CPU Clock Override. From here, you need to adjust, this is all CPU dependent, on try lower, try like 80, 74. For me, it's getting worse, but some CPUs, this will actually make your FPS go up. For me, I need to go up. So I could try as high as it goes, and I'm not actually getting that perfect 60, but also the higher you are, the more likely your audio will be distorting. So, uh, for this particular CPU, I found the sweet spot is pretty much 217. 
and this gets me near 60 and no, not many audio distortions. There will be some, but this is the most optimal config I found for this particular CPU. This is all dependent on you. So once you've figured this out, go ahead and close the emulation, go to config again, and you'll notice it reset. So you'll need to set it right here while the game is not running, and then it will persist. So now I can close Dolphin, open it again, and it's still set. So I highly recommend this. This makes a huge difference with the frames per second you'll be getting while playing this game.